my anniversary, I asked for a trip to Scotland. Instead, my husband bought a boat. I don't think the boat can make it to Scotland. It doesn't even look like it can make it to Scotch Plains. <laughs> I only made one wrong turn. It's not too bad. So let's see where this boat is. I think I see it already. Definitely a lot bigger than a Bristol. That's basically it. We're here a little early, so it's definitely a cute little boat. Just waiting for the owner to get here, get a look inside and up on the deck. But uh I like it so far. So, it's a Cape Dory. What can you not like? It's nice and quiet here. Just the clanking of the halyards. Interesting boat stand design. It's ingenious. <laughs> Zarettes, tiller, another lazaret. Wow, I love it. There's the head, just have a curtain. Final, uh, I love it. You got the old lantern in here. I like the, uh, I like the headroom on this boat. I've had 25, or 25, or whatever. And it's, uh, it's, uh, well, here we are. Tetra is out of the water. Back on our trailer. And, uh, sailing season is over. It's over. So I guess um, 
here today. They just pulled it yesterday, so I'm gonna get the sails off, get it prepped up. Hopefully this weekend, drop the mass and uh, haul her home. And I guess if you haven't, uh, if you're not a follower on my Twitter or Instagram page, uh, you wouldn't know that we did purchase another boat and so Tetra is going to nice. be up for sale. So we're going to wrap Tetra up, get her back to the house. Uh, it has been listed for sale and it just give her a good cleaning up and uh, get the rest of our gear out of here that we're keeping. And uh, yeah, she definitely served us well, but Lisa wanted this standing headroom and a new boat. Excited. So right now we're, it's a little hectic because we, uh, you know, we were looking at boats and then boom, I bought the boat. Lisa wasn't even there so as I'm doing this video right now we still haven't taken delivery of the boat and Lisa still hasn't seen it <laughs> so she better like it so um, yeah I can't think of anything else to say I'm I want to get this boat back get it cleaned up and and get her up for sale and move her on to the next person um, obviously if we weren't um, the idea was to get Lisa out on the boat and, you know, spend weekends, overnights, and when she did that first weekend and didn't want to, you know, spend any time on the boat anymore, kind of killed that plan. So that was probably the real rush to get a bigger boat so soon. Uh, you know, if I wasn't planning on overnighting, just sailing, this boat would have been fine. But the plan was to see if she actually liked spending time on the boat at anchor, wherever, uh, you know. Because if he doesn't like it, then you know there's no dream of a 35-foot boat. Then, and uh, I told her this boat, you know, if she decides she doesn't really care for it too much, this boat will suit my needs. You know, until I'm done sailing. So, um, yes, I'm but really I am excited. It's just uh, I just ran down here at the end of the day. I'm uh, tired and I'm hungry, but I wanted to come down here, check on the boat, get the sails down. Uh, because it's supposed to rain. It's been very warm, but there's a cold front coming. It's going to rain. If I wait till Saturday, everything will be wet and damp again. So I want to get get them down, get them in the cabin now, and probably pop the outboard off and take that with me. Uh, I don't need that to disappear. You never know. So better safe than sorry, right? All right. That is the end of the sailing season update. Uh, Tetra is out. Tetra is for sale. And we got a new boat. And um, just getting our first look tuned. at the boat. Yippee. Either that or I'm taking out for an episode of Deliverance. <laughs> I hear fiddles. <laughs> I hear fiddles. <laughs> Gee, you got purdy lips. Purdy lips. Yeah, I said to him, like, they can get a boat hauler down here. He's like, yeah, they do it all the time. I don't know where the water is. <laughs> There's only trees. There's water. I kept saying the same thing the first time I came here. Horses. Horses. Horses don't go in water. There's farms. That's not water. You can see, like, the tree line is disappearing. Oh, I see trees and horses. Tractors. Tractors. Split rail fences. And farms. <laughs> and a marina right next to the farm. Where do you live? I live in a marina right next to the farm.
Thank you very awesome. much. Yeah, Thanks. Kevin said that. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I can stand. You can stand. Told you. Told you. Yeah, so you got your head up there, yeah. so you get the little curtain you pull across. Nice wide settees. So you just, you could sleep to port, and I sleep to stop. You have the sink, and then you have a foot pump here for your water, so you would pump here and your water will come out there. Oh, okay. And then you got this jobby here. Yeah, alcohol stuff, so I guess it's designed you could either cook there or you yeah. could bring it up on the counter. Yeah. This is where your two batteries go. Oh, wow. What's like under there? I guess it's all just the. Uh, so that's all. Storage. So you have your motor well there right, right. and these are just big you know take a look at them they're like huge lazarettes for storage okay. you know and i guess if you wanted to you could always do a little cubby you approve I do. it's too late it's anyway too late. so oh yeah yeah i've seen them yeah no you go down first. Okay. Uh, plenty of room for the dog to scoot back and forth. Oh, yeah. Look at the wood.